Good morning. Welcome into today's chiropractic and nutrition here on Unforgettable 1220 at Classic Hits 99.7. Chris Roberts here and in the studio with us, Deb Ford, MSRD of the Good Earth Health Food Shop on South Shannon Street in Van Wert. And Dr. Ian Rainey, Doctor of Chiropractic. Well, welcome in here today. I heard, I think, the uh, term vitamin D mentioned in the hallway before the show started. I'm guessing that's what we're going to talk about to some degree today. Vitamin D. Vitamin D, the sunshine vitamin that your skin has a very important function in helping it to be transformed. It's really more of a hormone than a vitamin. You can get it from food, but uh, the the kidney and the skin are play major functions mm -hmm. in transferring it. That's why some people are much more effective at it than other people. Darker skin people um, need to get more vitamin or vitamin sunshine to make their vitamin D. So vitamin D comes from the sun, so the sun giveth and the sun taketh away. Yeah. <laughs> enough sun is enough sun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a little bit, you know, they say about 10 to 20 minutes of good sun every day is enough, mm -hmm. which is a lot of people don't get that. You and know, you can absorb you, that oh, in your no. face. You don't need to be uh, right. wearing you your You know, your you want to have it a little bit all over. If you get too much on any area of the body, it's going to start aging mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and showing signs of damage. But, you know, a little bit all over. Midday sun is going to be the most efficient. But at our Ohio latitude, mm -hmm. we really are not efficient at getting a good angle of radiation yeah, to yeah. Um, for Except most people. Except in July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For July, yeah. And and they've uh, I've talked about this study that they did in Boston, which is close to our latitude, and they did this in December, where they took grad students, didn't pay them, put them on a roof the entire, all day long, the entire winter semester. Students will do anything. Well, <laughs> they, I hope they <laughs> Not got Not necessarily A's. in the winter. <laughs> yeah. 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 In, in bathing suits. <laughs> I think they know. probably sold that uh, thinking yeah. they were just going to be on the roof uh, yeah. you know, absorbing the sun. <laughs> they didn't tell them it was going to be in December. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Read the uh, fine print. <laughs> their vitamin D levels didn't budge one iota. Wow. Yeah, huh. so the angle of radiation is is so important. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like it's not in UV. In, in other words, it doesn't penetrate the clouds as ultraviolet might. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to mm -hmm. get direct sunlight mm -hmm. without having anything in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and, a, and a lot of doctors have done studies, like in the Midwest region, and they found that over 80% of their patients are deficient in vitamin D. Yeah, so. unless you supplement, it's, mm -hmm. it's nearly impossible. Yeah. Well, and then you wear sunscreen. You know, every yep, yep. woman is, is going to be wearing, and men should also wear sunscreen to protect. Uh -huh. But and then we wear long sleeves mm -hmm. and you're in and out of your car working inside all day long. So mm -hmm. nearly impossible. So some of the benefits of vitamin D. Oh, Why do we need vitamin mm -hmm. D? That was going to be my very next question. <laughs> okay, so you can take a break. If well, it's so important, uh, what does it do for us? Well, it's been shown to do a lot of different things. It's been able to show that it will reduce cardiovascular disease. Um, there have been studies done that show that um, if you're deficient in vitamin D, you have an increased risk of heart attack by 50%. Um, it mm -hmm. helps with uh, modulating the immune system. So it'll help your body um, you know, run the immune system properly. So it's going to make you um, better able to... Uh, you know, prevent autoimmune diseases like MS or other uh, other things like inflammatory mm -hmm. bowel disease, things like yeah, that. Yeah, it's been used in Crohn's disease. And some um, clinical research has shown that healthy postmenopausal women that take extra calcium with vitamin D have a 60% lower risk for developing cancer of any kind. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah I know I have seen a lot of studies for breast cancer. Mm -hmm. It's very important for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we all wow. know that vitamin D comes from the sun, but mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. are there foods that are rich in vitamin D? Mm -hmm. There are, yeah. And, and it's really pretty easy to increase your vitamin D level. You know, we think, okay, well, you know, well, if I'm not getting it from the sun, you know, how, how big of a challenge is it to get this vitamin D? But you can get blood work done. It'll show you exactly where your vitamin D level is. There's no longer it's no longer a guessing game and surprisingly you can get it from mushrooms mm -hmm. eggs but mushrooms can be a really good source of vitamin d oh. mushroom pizza mushroom, mushroom pizza, pizza. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know and and also not only rheumatoid arthritis but weight loss you know everybody oh, yeah. likes to figure out new little angles at being trimmer and um, leaner, mm -hmm. but they, they show that people with lower vitamin D levels are significantly more likely to be obese wow. than people. And, huh. you know, they, they're probably 
um, you know, mm-hmm. you hate to make generalizations, but maybe they're not outside as much. Yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Or maybe they just don't utilize it. There, there's so many things. You know, mm-hmm. as you age, um, that changes how your body can efficiently um, translate in, into the active form of vitamin D. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, milk forever has been considered a good source of vitamin D, but it uses the D2, mm-hmm. not, you know, not the good D3 This mm-hmm. that is what you really need. And some people can't convert that D2. So if they, they take the D2, then their vitamin D levels in their body don't increase. And, mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't realize that there's a conversion process that occurs and everything has to be working properly in order for that conversion process to to occur. So without a blood test, is there any way we can obviously tell we have a vitamin D deficiency? No. Really? No, not unless you're depressed. Not to be 100% (laughs) certain, but there are, I mean, there are some things that they say, you know, if you've got achy bones, Mm -hmm. um, you know, that could be cancer, that could be, you know, vitamin D. Well, a million things, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have... um, uh, a lot of head sweating frequently, you know. It could be I didn't fever. know that. Yeah, huh. yeah. Um, so that's a sign. Um, and then if your digestive system, you know, is, uh, you know, not working very well, obviously you're not going to be absorbing the vitamin D that you need. So everybody can mm-hmm. hope for the easy fix. Mm-hmm. Uh, vitamin D deficiency sounds like an easy fix. Mm-hmm. If that's, oh, right. In fact, oh, yeah. the diagnosis. Right. I mean, but a blood test will tell you that stuff, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there, you know, if you want to have an optimal range, too, yeah, the... Yeah. Um, over 60 is going to be good. It's mm-hmm. not uncommon around here to oh. have people in the single digits. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, so when, anyway. when we're done talking about vitamin D, mm-hmm. let me know because I have a quick lesson in broadcasting for you. Okay. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> okay. Are we done talking about vitamin D? We could no. be. No. no. Oh, okay, well, okay, go ahead then. Well, the, just let me know uh, when you're done. Just, well, just speaking of some of the aspects of how important vitamin D is, just think of you know vitamin D. Uh, if you take a lot of calcium, but you still have osteoporosis or you've got thin bones, calci- or vitamin D is necessary to drive that calcium into the bone. So it's almost like a transporter, and, and without it, you know, uh, you are at risk. And you were just talking, Deb, about uh, you know postmenopause, and you know at that time when you're um, when your hormones change, you're not producing as much new bone growth. So that's mm-hmm. when, you know, you start declining and you want to have as much vitamin D as possible. You know, you want to be at an optimal level so that you have good, strong, healthy bones and for the rest of your life. Nobody knows bones like you. I mean, I, yeah. I'm guessing yeah. that's what you oh work with every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah I, you know, I don't like to have to worry about a patient and worry what their, you know, bone density is mm-hmm. because, you know, we're adjusting them and moving bones and it makes it, makes it a lot easier when you've got good, healthy, strong bones. Mm-hmm. And it's, it is a very small supplement when mm-hmm. if oh somebody gosh. wants to, to take a supplement, mm-hmm. it's just a little bitty football gel cap mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. very reasonable. Mm-hmm. You know, for, uh, for under $10, you can get a four-month supply yeah. of a good, high-quality, oh. uh, good-dose vitamin D, one of those yeah. a day. They're all f- all, also fat-soluble. Mm-hmm. So if you, say, miss a day here or there, you can double up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but tremendous benefits. I can speak from personal experience. I had my vitamin D tested, and I was low. And you know, you know, who knows if it was the vitamin D or what? But reduced inflammation, improved energy, lots of great things. So, um, vitamin D—it's the sunshine, happy vitamin. Very important. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, your so trick. What's this? Oh, well, no, it's, yeah. it's not actually a trick. It's just, a, it's just a. It, uh, see, it, uh, in broadcasting, they used to teach us to try to tie things together to make a show flow. Uh-huh. And so, watch this tie-in. So we've established that uh, that vitamin D uh, can be uh, uh, absorbed from the sun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gee, Deb Ford, I'll bet you absorbed lots of vitamin D when you were running in the <laughs> triathlon <laughs> at Malibu uh-huh. a couple of weekends ago. Right, uh-huh. I did that. I did that. Um, it See was, how smooth it that was, transition was. was? Yeah. yeah, they do have a lot of sunshine in Southern California. It was it was beautiful. Went out there. It was kind of a. <clears throat> Zing flying trip. We went out on Friday with my mother, Mm -hmm. stayed at a cousin's house, and uh, then Sunday morning, got up bright and early, had to be there, 3,000 people, and you had to be on Zuma Beach by 5 a.m. just to get a parking spot. So, yeah, so we, um, I rented a wetsuit, so I've never 
swam in a wetsuit before, but the water was normally pretty darn cold. Well, it how, happened. How cold was it? Well, it was the warmest it had been in over 20 years. Wow. Lucky got to you. 70 <laughs> degrees. A whopping 70. Well, and a you know, toasty. The, the that's last, what it's like in Malibu, huh? Yeah, the last time I did it, it was like 64 degrees, and uh, I was about the only woman there that didn't have a wetsuit except for this like really tall, long-legged blonde beside me, and she was in a bikini, and I thought, if she can do it, I can do it. I'm from Ohio. And, uh, it might have been so, her first try. So, yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> Mind I'll you. do that again without so, a wetsuit. <laughs> so I wasn't sure how it was going to work with swimming in a wetsuit. Uh-huh. And in fact, I mean, it makes you a lot more buoyant. Wow. And huh. so my feet were way up high. It was it was quite nice. It had, had good flexibility in the shoulders. Um, so what about swimming in the ocean? I, I looked like there were a lot of waves. Well, they just had a hurricane. So yeah, oh. the waves are pretty... Do- a gal beside me was having an anxiety attack. Oh, no. In the, the hurricane water. went up through Mexico. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the re- remnants were, you know, mm-hmm. were big there wave, as far as waves. The, mm-hmm. waves but were But those, yeah. those Baywatch um, <laughs> lifeguards yeah. were so good with her. I, I think everybody, she was and faking everybody it. Everybody in Malibu looks like David yeah. Hasselhoff. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> I think she was faking it. She just wanted attention. You know? so, <laughs> so, you know, we we did the biking. And uh, then, you know, they, they... So how far did you go? You swam for a half a mile. Half a mile. And then... And, you know, they they so, got they govern how and I don't govern, but they take um, account and how long each segment takes, you know, how mm-hmm. long it takes you to swim, how long it takes you to bike and then how long it takes you to run. But then they also measure the time that it takes in your transition. OK, uh-huh. they want it to be under two minutes. Transition, oh. meaning when you get out of the water, most people have to put mm-hmm. shoes on mm-hmm. to ride the bike. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh, in your case, you <laughs> ate a pair. I ate a pair, uh-huh. mixed up my electrolyte drink, you know, and peeling <laughs> off the wetsuit. Other people are hurrying, and you're taking your time, <laughs> like you're going to a church picnic. I know. I this know. is well, going to be enjoyable. You know, I'll make sure. Yeah, you know, I'm, I, it's well, an event. For me, it's it, not though. a race. It has to be enjoyable. When you're, when you're swimming a half mile, mm-hmm. when you're riding a bike 18 miles? Uh, yes, and I did yeah. not realize till I got there on Saturday, and we were driving the Pacific Coast Highway. I never paid attention to the hills. <laughs> well, we don't have a whole lot of hills around here. Yeah. But where I rented the bike, they were so nice. They really fit the bike to my stature, Just really went out of their way, kind of showed me of some tricks on the gears. I flew through that biking. I even passed some people. I've wow. never passed people before in wow. my life biking. It was a good bike. Huh? It, was, it was a great bike. Well, it was but good. you've been training hard. Good you know, yeah. yeah. Running yeah. six miles yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, wow. but, but you know, so, so the biking, I did better than I had ever done before going uh-huh. up these hills. Uh-huh. Passed a few people. Few people passed me. I kind of felt like apologizing to the people I was passing because uh-huh. I know how that feels. Uh-huh. And you know, and then and then one time I got my daughter to do this, uh-huh. and she she complained nonstop afterwards. She says, "I saw the three mile marker," uh-huh. and I was thinking, "Thank you, mother." Uh-huh. Then it was the so, six mile. So, the, but you ran. You 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 then had to transition from the bike to running. Yeah. And oh with that, yeah. now you run how far? Four miles into the sun. Okay. Yeah, so so wow. right along the beach. And, you wow. know, not bad. And not you have, bad. You know, you have just a few minutes in between those yeah. events. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you're, so you, you can't know. go out to, uh, you know, no. out to Denny's and have a, you know. No, right. no. Uh-uh. It's one end to the other. It was in 3,000 people. And you do it in waves. So they have, you know, the men, the young guys, mm-hmm. and, and then you're know, the middle age and, and the older. And then they have the Clydesdale, which are the, the big guys. Uh-huh. And, you know, then they have um, some of the um, uh, handicapped. You know, mm-hmm. they have some that have had brain injured and they have teams that uh, work with. It's really great. I mean, you mm-hmm. see the tandem ones out there and people helping other ones go through the swimming event. So it's it's huge. And, of course, you have the movie stars out there, really? you know. Yeah, wow. and, and um, Sanjay Gupta had his fit team from CNN. So <laughs> wow. you well, know, You're up against Team CNN. You're up against Team Disney, Team Warner Brothers. Warner, oh, yeah. oh they were yeah. all they, out there. That's what they yes. do out there. Yeah. I mean, they make movies. And yeah, so there was, like, some really fit people. I mean, really, you know. So I, I felt yeah. pretty good about it because I came in about half. 
you so know, 3,000 people, I was like 1484. So, wow. you know, wow. yeah, that was not bad. Yeah. Not bad. But, but before we get too far well, away, uh, let us point out also that Dr. Rainey has uh, also done this very same, not no. the Malibu, but no. you have done other events in triathlon mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, we, well, we just did you. one yeah. early yeah. earlier yeah. this year. Well, yeah. my first one was when I was in chiropractic school in the summer. You said, hey, when you come home, let's do a triathlon together. <laughs> and that was our first one. It's kind of been, uh, uh -huh. you know, an annual Every thing ever since then. Yeah, yeah. It's, but, uh, well, it gives, it gives you a reason to stay in shape. And, you mm -hmm. know, I always tell my clients, you want to build structures into mm -hmm. your life that propels you into those good habits. So yeah, yeah. when you sign up for an event in mm -hmm. Malibu in January, you got to be training a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I don't I, I like these because they they don't wear anything out. They're just like little biking, little running, you know, a little swimming. Mm -hmm. So it, it doesn't take doesn't wear anything out. Uh -huh. A lot of people listening to the show, including me, probably think, no, it just kill me. It wouldn't wear anything out. I just wouldn't make it out the other well, side. You got to work up to it. And that's one thing that I've, I was kind of write down the times at every year when I do mm -hmm. this. And every year I keep getting a little yeah, better faster, and better, better, you know, and and so and I've got you also have to have a good support system. Yeah. yeah. You know, you've you've got to well, have. Well, like people you said, around your, your you mom that help. With you and, yes, and but, and my husband and my kids. We everybody, and I love doing this because it's kind of a family thing. Mm -hmm. It's just, um, it's. We should also point out that uh, that the entire event out there raised in yes. about four or five hours' time over one point three million dollars for the Los Angeles Children's Hospital. Right. So there was a lot of cash Incredible. that yes. changed hands in a short yes. period of time yeah. out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, when you start talking about those big teams, that I'm sure oh, they were donating goodness. a lot of yeah. money. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Mm -hmm. huh. yep. So, so, but I noticed that uh, uh, Dr. Rainey, after uh, um, the triathlons that mm -hmm. I've witnessed, mm -hmm. uh, there's always a, a chiropractor or two. Oh my gosh, yeah. I after wish that. he would have yeah. been there. So, yeah. you know, oh. what, what's the value there? What happens there? Oh. Well, uh, well, the first time I finished one, I got the massage, and I, I literally felt like I was just one big muscle that wouldn't relax, and the massage just loosened everything up, and it, I mean, it. I wish you would have been there. My neck, <laughs> yeah. after riding 18 miles on a bicycle, my neck felt like it was uh -huh. just one big knot. Yeah. Yeah. So thanks for the adjustment. I feel so much better. <laughs> no problem. No problem. But yeah, I did make. Uh, I've made a couple of good friends just from you know after the triathlons. There's a uh, you know a chiropractor there in Syracuse, and um, you know we just always catch up every time after the triathlon. Mm -hmm. It gives me a good adjustment. And, but you know, you know, all that running and jarring, um, you know, it's you know, found yourself out of shape. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And you know, if you stretch really good, you know, you're gonna you're you're gonna mm -hmm. heal fine. But there's a lot of you know, a byproduct of all that muscle contraction, all that exercise Lact is lactic mm -hmm. acid. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't work that out or get that stretched. You know, that's going to build up and you get a lot of knots and trigger points. Worst thing to do is get on an airplane and come home immediately. <laughs> <laughs> How would you know that? <laughs> Without enjoying Malibu. Yeah. 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 Can't, can't afford to be there any longer. <laughs> well, when I think of you, though, I think of, I think of the word master manifester. Because when you put your mind to something, it happens. And when you, well, <laughs> you know, you, you just don't give up yeah, and yeah. you know, it, it really worked out well, but you've got to have good support. Yeah. yeah. You know, if it mm -hmm. hadn't have been for other people around that you were wouldn't. encouraging me, yeah. it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Yeah. So in 30 seconds, what do we take from this show here today? Get a blood test and see where you stand on all these things, mm -hmm. vitamin D and all the other mm -hmm. things that uh, that you can find out about yourself and you, how you're doing? You can, yeah. And the, you can just go to the hospital and get that done. You can have your doctor request that order for you. Should be on every blood test yeah, that people sh have. Should yeah, be. Especially yeah. around here. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll, you'll benefit tremendously, especially around Expensive? here. Expensive? Uh, no, I think it... Well, if you pay cash, I think it's like fifty dollars. Really? Know? Yeah. And yeah. you can tell all that stuff. Is that yeah. a blood panel? You can tell all those things. Um, from that, that's the vitamin that... D, but I think you can even get a blood panel for cheaper than that. Yeah, thirty-five. So. You can yeah. get yeah. yeah. So, but but it's mm -hmm. worth tacking it on because mm -hmm. it has so many wide-ranging effects on mm -hmm. receptors yeah. that we don't even know about. Mm -hmm. Deb Ford, MSRD, the Good Earth Health Food Shop on South Shannon Street, and Dr. Ian Rainey, Doctor of Chiropractic, and I'm Chris Roberts here on today's Chiropractic and Nutrition on WERT and WKSD. Catch you next time.